is Chelsea. I'm Emily. And, and this, this is Good, Good Times Time Grooming. Grooming. So today we are, or Emily is going to be grooming this baby. Got her hair in my eyeball. Her mom was looking for a boo cut. If you guys don't know who boo is, this is him. <laughs> <laughs> and so clearly they have two totally different codes. So it's going to be interesting what, how she comes come out with. today. Yeah, we went back and forth with different pictures. I don't think we're necessarily going to do a boo cut. I think we're going to do just a shorter cut on the body and try to do a round head. So we're just going to play around with it and see what we can come up with. All right, let's get started. She's already been bathed and blow dried. And we got a lot of the undercoat out with just blow drying, but she's still shedding a lot. Let me make sure I get all that out to get a good haircut. I was mentioning, I was mentioning excuse me, to Emily. This is something that we deal with a lot at work. They pull up a whole puppy picture of a puppy that has never had a haircut and then come in and tell us that's what they want and we're looking at them like so you don't want us to touch it i'm confused you guys would be surprised on how many people were so upset because we told them that they were you know this was trucks <laughs> these trucks are rude they are the highway is like how many feet 500 feet that's what you hear in the background <laughs> Well, and in this case, she hasn't had a haircut. She's two years old. She's never had a haircut. She's always wanted a shorter cut. She didn't think that she had the right texture for it. And her hair texture is different. She's got more of like the silky hair than the kind of wiry Pomeranian hair. But I was kind of explaining to her, like it won't be exactly the same, but we can kind of do the same haircut and play around with it to see what we can do. So there's definitely opportunity to try to make them look like the pictures that they bring in. The thing that I don't like is the ones who expect that and it's like not gonna happen. Workers. Yeah, I mean, we can do the best that we can do, but. <laughs> Kind of like whenever you go into the nail salon and you show them a picture and they do something completely different. Exactly. Oh, that's You're happened like, okay, to me so thanks. many times. <laughs> no. And then they blame, they blame your fingers. Your fingers are crooked, so it didn't come out right. But I guess maybe that's the thing and we just don't get it. Because, I mean, look at us right now. We're like, people come in with pictures. And exactly. They probably, they probably think the same thing. <laughs> maybe it is our fingers. They're like, oh, you don't have the right fingers for that. Same thing. Y'all don't have the right dogs. We're just doing what we can. She's got little mats behind her ears. Ears. I'm just gonna thin them out real quick. Her name is Lacey. I actually, I can get with doing Pomeranians. I love Pomeranians. Yeah, I can get with doing Pomeranians. It has that full, bam, look when they're done. <laughs> I've been looking into a mousse and sprays that you can blow dry in to make the hair stand up more. I've been watching videos of people using it on like Westies and Big Sean and stuff. And it looks like it makes a huge difference. So I'm thinking of investing in some and trying it out. You know, here's my thought process on that. I think of, okay, say with your own hair, right? Mm -hmm. You wash your hair, put all this chemical in it, and then it's just nasty afterwards. By yeah. the time the chemical gets all dry and crusty. Yeah. So that's how I think. Like, going yeah. down, you would just, I did all that work for nothing in my mind. Yeah. You know? Well, and I wouldn't want it to be heavy. It'd have to be light, you know, something that's not really going to leave a residue. And yeah. the ones that I've been seeing said that it doesn't really affect it. And but I, stuff, you don't really know what it's going to do. Yeah. Most of the people say that it just helps with time because you're not really having to comb as much. Like you comb it up and it stays where it's at and you can just scissor. Yeah. And so it turns out looking better too. I'm thinking maybe an O comb. See how much that takes off first. You do want to be careful with these little braids like this. Pomeranians, koalas, yorkies. Their legs are so little. <laughs> they can't stand singing like groomers who manhandle the dog oh, or a dog like so this. Many. The this same way that they would handle like a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu's got a lot bigger bones than this little thing right yeah. here. Like you can't, I mean, of course I wouldn't manhandle a Shih Tzu either, but like if this dog is going to put up a fight, I'm not going to sit here and hold her down because she's going to break something. <laughs> like you, you can, like a baby and hope for yeah, the best. Yeah, do the most that you can do, but can't really hold down that dog like you can another dog. Because then she doesn't really have a head. I'm probably going to have to leave some down here and make it look like she's going to have a round head because really... She doesn't have any hair. That's another huge part of grooming is that it's an illusion. It's a big illusion yeah. a majority of the time to make the dogs look like they have something that they don't. Y'all, we're artists. Y'all don't even know. A lot of people don't treat it like that. Those are the no. groomers that you want to stay away from. <laughs> I will say I love a good lion cut on a Pomeranian. Not my favorite. Lion cuts in general are not my favorite. I think the best lion cut that I've done on a dog was a child. When people get lion cuts on the random, the most random dog, they're not doing it right. <laughs> I had a Wheaton that came in for a lion cut. No. 
And every single time she's coming for a line cut and I believe this big mane, but it's a Wheaton. So it's not like this where it fluffs out. It's just short, Straight. compact, and yeah. just Wheaton hair. So it looks like she just has like a big jacket on. <laughs> it's not cute. But mom loved it. She's like, oh, I'm like, okay. Y'all don't realize how much we question. It's a group on Facebook, I think, that says something about, I'm not proud of it, but it pays the bills. And it's a groomer group, and it's where people post all their haircuts that, you know, the customer comes in and wants this haircut, so you do it, and you're, like, ashamed of it, but that's what they wanted, and they love it, but you're like, okay, you're welcome, I guess. If y'all only knew how many times we sent the dog out, and then came back in the back, and we're like, please, you're not telling anybody that I did this. Yeah. Like, just, let's just keep this quiet. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, you're in customer service. You have to do what the customer wants. But if they come in and they want a crazy haircut, Paying you for it. <laughs> you kinda gotta do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that hurts my heart. It's hard to put your heart and soul into it when you're not. Exactly. Doing it. It's like, can you just let me do it? And then the people that are, these are the people that I love for. It's just like, you know what? Just make them look cute. Yeah. I like trust you. They no more. But a lot of times they don't know what they want, and we do know better. Yeah. So sometimes they are better off. It's the ones that want to feel like they know what they're talking about. So they make up this whole idea of like, oh yeah, this looks so good. And I get it and they're like, maybe not. I've gotten a lot of undercoat out, but I'm going to go back and forth between combing and short comb. Because Pomeranian and hair, we all know it's choppy. <laughs> Hard to get even. One thing that I'm picky about is double coated dogs, making sure it's smooth and not choppy. So I'm going to take my time, go back over it, and then I'm still going to scissor the whole thing when I'm done thing that I was telling mom, her hair was so, it was hard to tell what texture it was, but it was so long and thick and silky that it was weighing it down, so we couldn't really tell what the hair was going to look like underneath. She's got pretty good hair. I'm just kind of leaving some extra fluff here so that I have something to work with later. I might take it off later, but it just depends on what it looks like. I was telling Emily that we are so blessed to have the dogs that we've had in these videos. They're so good. Honestly, I think the, the one that caused maybe a very little bit of problem was the golden that you did, but that was just because the mom came in. Yeah. yeah. The golden doodle? Yeah. I also think, though, that I groom here out of the shop. I don't really have bad dogs. I think just the environment being different from a groom shop. They don't really feel like it's... I mean, they know that they're getting groomed, but there's not dogs screaming in the background. There's not people walking in and out. It's a little bit more relaxing. So they're able to calm down and... Especially when they're here by themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tiny, y'all. <laughs> I touch her and she, like, goes flying. He's probably not even that small, and I step on him all the time. <laughs> Nothing would survive. Kobe is her dog. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <Not a> client <laughs> Nothing that small would survive at my house. And Emily likes gigantic, thick I have a dogs. Rottweiler. <laughs> I have a Rottweiler and a Rottweiler mix, so I'm not bringing home any small dogs anytime soon. My boyfriend wants a dachshund, a miniature dachshund. And we have a 125 pound Rottweiler and a 70 pound Rottweiler mix. I'm like, you know that dog would break in a day. <laughs> See, I can't do big dogs either because I can't do big poops. I gotta think about oh, big poops. They got a lot of poops. Those poops are big. But you know what's crazy? The little 70 pound mutt. His poops are ginormous. I thought that Roddy had big poops. And then the little mutt started pooping in the house and I had to clean it up every day. And I'm like, God. At first I was like, this has to be tight. And the, bit, the rock I was like, there's no way. Because the mutt was like 40 pounds maybe. And he's all skinny and tall. He poops like five times a day and they're all huge. No, no, no. I couldn't handle that. It's a lot. I'm gonna do her nails really quick. Lacey, you're doing so good. Thank you. And we also just want to put out there for all of our viewers watching. Just want to say thank you. Let's appreciate the views. Thank you guys. We need some more subscribers, so please don't forget subscribe. Let us know what you all want to see. If there is any particular breed that y'all want to see us groom, you know, let us know in the comments. Um, I'm just trimming up her feet really quick before I get into the legs. I don't like to scissor legs without doing the feet first. 
to me it's a waste of time to, when I scissor the legs, I don't go all the way down to the foot if the foot's not done. So then I'm just going back and forth, wasting time. So I do the feet first, that way I can do the whole leg when I scissor. Pomeranian feet are like little golden retriever feet. Ooh, these feet. <laughs> I love them. One foot I do not like doing is uh, Cavaliers. They're like hard to make. Like I always want it to look like a golden retriever foot, like smooth. Rounded out, yeah. But they only have hair in between the toes, so it never looks right. Yeah. Alright. Now I'm just going to start scissoring all the pieces that I don't want. <coughs> <laughs> Y'all, update, I have been using a seven skip at work. Yeah. <laughs> and I was telling Chelsea the first couple dogs that I did, I put multiple holes in them. Then I got to the point where I did a doodle and I put about two holes in them. <laughs> so I'm making progress. progress. <laughs> it's a little slow. And for you guys who don't know what that is, if you look at our first video where I did the standard poodle, you can see it in there how she uses it. She uses it instead of scissoring. And I was thinking of doing it on this one, but this dog's too small. I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> and she also tried to, well, you tried the four rates and four skip. No, yeah, four skip. I tried a four skip. I didn't, I don't know how I feel about it. I was telling her, I am better with just a four because I'm not nervous. Mm -hmm. Skips are making me nervous. And so if I'm using it straight on the body, it was slowing me down way too much. She cracks me up, guys. That's what I used to do all the time. The skips? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't even know what they were. <laughs> I didn't know what they were until I looked that smart and looked into it. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm good. I like the way it looks. I like that one. It's very rare when I just get to sit down and watch other people grow. It's very satisfying. <laughs> The, the sound of the shears. Oh, I love these chunkers. Yeah, the, these chunkers. I don't. They don't even cut that well, but like. <laughs> <laughs> That's beside the point. <laughs> They're very expensive, and the only thing I bought because I was like, oh, those sound good. <laughs> if you guys are groomers and you just sit and just listen, it's it's the most satisfying thing ever. Anybody's wondering? These are. Food. <laughs> that was my thought. That's why I thought you said it wrong. <laughs> I don't know how else it's supposed to be said. <laughs> but Guy is a really good brand. They're expensive, but they're really good. Long lasting, too. Yeah, you can tell the difference in the quality from these to my other shears. I'm like slowly getting used to my chunkers. Because um, I didn't use them for no, the longest. And then when I first got them, I took a gigantic chunk. I didn't realize what they did. I just knew I wanted them because they look cool. Y'all, I use a, uh, oh God, it was a- uh, You went in like a normal scissor? Yeah, I did. It was a doodle and it had a big ass hole in it. And at that time I couldn't fix it. <laughs> I had to call my boss over and fix it. It was just bad. I'm not a big thinning sheer person. I am a big sheer person. Yeah. So I, I do a lot of my blending with my Plain shears, which to me is a lot easier. I see a lot of people who thinning shear a whole dog, and I'm like, I don't have that time in the world. You know, that's too much. Yeah, I do want to teach myself how to. I know y'all seen Shoe and Tree on YouTube. That they literally get a pomeranian like this, but don't use a guard comb and literally thinning or like chunker the whole entire dog, the whole entire haircut to like something like this length. I don't understand that. I don't know why you would do that, but I want to do it. <laughs> Because their dogs come out looking so good. Mm -hmm. So I want to learn, or at least try. Probably don't do it on a regular basis, but like, you know, just when you get a dog, time, like, yeah, you did it. when you got the time <laughs> to just sit there. Now, I can scissor a whole dog, but yeah. the body, the body, uh, y'all, that thing will look like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Same.
The only time I said their dogs is when they won't let me do the clippers on their legs, and I'm like, well, <laughs> this is what you're gonna get. I'm gonna scissor what I can, and I'm gonna do that. Now, if I have a modified cut and I have the time, I'll scissor it. It's because I feel like it. I'll seven yeah. skip it now. Huh. Oh, yeah. I'll do a seven skip now, but before I wouldn't do any hand scissor. It was always just, if you want something long, I can do an e comb. <laughs> I liked the hand scissor for a while. I did. But I got out of that real quick after I learned the seven. <laughs> yeah, I think the seven's gonna help me get more into more scissoring, longer, yeah. you know, longer haircuts. Cause I don't do the long haircuts. But like I said, the longest I do is an e comb. Mm -hmm. But I think the seven will help me. I feel have more nothing confident. but long haircuts. The majority of my clients are all long, modified haircuts. Yeah. Granted, that was more so my fault. <laughs> yeah, when a customer comes in, oh my god, they'll be like, I don't know, what should I do? And Chelsea's like, modified. And I'm like, why? Why are you doing that to everybody else? You could be a puppy that just came out the womb. Yeah. I, I want to do a modified. Like modified. I'm like, you know, the next person's going to have to do a modified. And they're going to be pissed off. You better hope that they continue to be a request. I just love it. And it's, it's so funny because I hated modifieds. Hated them. I would do, do shave downs all the time. You cannot get me to do a modified. My favorite thing is like a, I'm, I'm good in like a two comb or one comb, you know? That's BB. All over, BB and that's is, it. Is two comb, <laughs> yeah. all over. That's my favorite link. Really? I just don't yeah. like the back story. It's just I mean, easy. I want a little up. I mean, yeah, if I got the time and I can work as fast as you, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting a two. <laughs> I mean, if, yeah, if you've got the skills, then yeah, I can see you being fun, but like, not all of us do. <laughs> it's inside, Emily. We're just we're pulling it out. Yeah. Slowly but surely. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> when she's off and has her own place and is doing her thing, I bet you yeah. she's gonna be throwing modifies out that door. It'll be more fun. <laughs> That's the thing. I wish I had the time, but mm -hmm. like in grooming, you don't. Unless you're fast and you've got the time to stop and learn, it's hard to keep getting better. Yeah you're more focused on money and quantity versus learning new stuff. I wonder if all of you that are watching have been through the same, but this year has sucked. Well, I don't know. Well, it's been it's been pretty good for Emily. <laughs> now on this side over here behind the camera, no. Hell no. <laughs> I have mixed feelings because, well, and I recognize that, you know, everybody went through shit with COVID, but like, I didn't lose my job. You know, everything's going good with my family. Bought a house. Moving up in the world. Like, <laughs> so, I don't know. So she's part of that 20%? I don't know if it's so bad. This was kind of my year. <laughs> Those 80% out there, holla at me, okay? Because shit was rough. <laughs> but see, it was more the end of the year. The beginning of the year it was trash. Yeah. And then halfway through, I was like, no, this year's not going to be trash. I'm not going to let it be trash. Everything worked out. Started the YouTube channel. It's not all bad. Yeah. Super positive is bad. And it's up to you to make it positive. If you're gonna dwell in COVID and let it consume you, then probably it was a horrible year. You're all consumed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so Just ironic now. because this year ne neither one of us got COVID. Uh, let me just put it out there now. My mother did. But it's just ironic because on a regular year, I get sick probably 20 times in the year. Like I am always sick, always. My immune system is trash. <laughs> and this is the one year that everything else happens to me other than getting sick. I would have taken getting sick at this point. <laughs> the one year God wants me to be healthy so I can deal with all the rest of the shit that's going on in my life. She's looking so good. For now, until I see something else. <laughs> this is why we want people to pick up real quick after they're done, so because all we do is sit there and stare at the thing. Yeah, I'm like, please, <laughs> please get out of here. <laughs> Fix all the little stuff that we see afterwards. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm doing Pomeranian heads, I like to go with a guard comb to blend it in the back. But her hair, I'm too scared to take too much off because she doesn't have a lot. So I think I'm gonna scissor the whole thing instead of doing guard comb. So all of her shape is going to be coming from the bottom. All right, we're going to take a little bit off. Um, she's not going to have much up here, but what I'm going to do is round it and kind of do more of like a fox, not fox head, not going off to the side, but we're going to have her ears up and rounded and then coming down to a circle. So I'm getting 
giving her a head. She doesn't have a head. Personally, I don't like to mess with the hair in front of the ears too much. I'll take the thinners and kind of take off a little bit on the end, but I find whenever you take that and just have the ear up, it looks, it doesn't look right to me. It doesn't look Pomeranian. It just looks off and it looks chubby. Really? Yeah. I'm going to make that shit off. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I like the look. I like that round look and the, the ears right. short and alert. I'll take the hair that's here and I'll run that. But the front of the ears. Yeah, I think it's right off. And this goes back to ooh, everybody having different ideas, different styles. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty funny because as much of a naturalist as I am. Yeah. I am a very unnaturalist also. I like everything defined and out there and pretty. But then depending on the dog, like this one, it makes sense for her not to mess with the ears in the front just because she has very little already. Yeah. But now with a good, you know, like a good thick palm, ooh, I would've took it off too. It, it would've been more like the blue cut. I think because when I first started doing Pomeranians, I took it off and I <laughs> didn't like it, so I was like, never again! <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm kind of blocking the camera, but I'm trying to work around her. She doesn't really like me holding her face too much. Anybody else still struggle with the dog's right side? This whole side of the face? Can't do it. I struggle with everything. Ears. The Making it, uh, even, you mean? Or just, just generally? Just generally. Scissoring that way. I've been trying to tr like train myself to... See, I always come down, but I always hold my angle. My scissors at the wrong angle. Uh huh. So it usually cuts in. So I've been trying to train myself to go this way, but it's always been iffy for me. It's always been hard for me to do the right side. Not really make a match. I mean, yeah, it's harder to make a match when you can't scissor it right. But the <laughs> issue is not being able to scissor that that way or that side. But I come from a different direction when I do that side, though. You come so from I'm back standing or on the left side while I'm scissoring the right. 
if that makes sense. So, from the back, from the front. Where your shears are, let me see shears. So I'll um, be on this side, going, doing that side. And then the same like that. Yeah, I do this way. But I cannot do that way. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel right, and I'm too scared. I'm like, you know, at this point, I'd rather send the dog home with an uneven face and cut the dog's head, so I'm just gonna do that. I think a lot of it has to do with my personal journey with grooming, though. Yeah. I was pushed out of it really fast and pushed into management and didn't have time to really keep learning. Mm -hmm. So I had to teach myself and taught myself, but I didn't really learn like the different tricks, I guess, yeah. Well, I think that's what we're gonna have. That's what we're gonna get. I do always like to round up the top of the ear so that they have more of that like teddy bear ear look versus pointy. It's like Hello Kitty to me, though. Hello Kitty headline. I can see the concept. Vivi does one, too. She does one. I attempted, and it looked cockeyed. I don't know. It was something that was just wasn't right about it. it sometimes, right. yeah, no. I feel weird about doing it sometimes because I feel like people think, like, where's her other bow? Or, like, oh, the other one fell out. Exactly. It looks so cute with one. Chelsea rudely interrupting our video. I have people blowing my phone up right now. <laughs> I don't like to blow on her. You don't like to? No. I don't like to. Maybe they're just too big. They're placed wrong. So? It's just one. Look. You like two better? I like whatever you I think you want the one, so I'm gonna say yes. It doesn't one. look right. I'm so used to just one. She's cute regardless. Yo, oh, baby. She's lacy. Alright, let's take some pictures. Are you gonna. That's rude. Why are you looking okay. at me? Okay, Wiggles is fine. <laughs> oh, she wants to. <laughs> Alright, you guys. That was it. Emily did a really good job on this baby. Thank you. Please remember to click like, subscribe. And follow us on our other social media. We have Instagram and Facebook at Good Times Grooming. Subscribe if I didn't say that before. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye.